manually bumalang. Oh, I'm gonna fall down. Healthy. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm at Mike. Hey, I'm at Bukit Jalil, my Axiata Arena, my Axiata, to visit all the booths in the uh, my cycle expo. It's gonna be very interesting because uh, this is gonna be the first biggest expo for bicycles uh, related uh, in Malaysia. So I am so excited to see this happening in Malaysia. Hopefully, this is something a beginning of something amazing. So let's go check out what's around the booth in uh, around this place. Go check it out. Yeah. A cyclist who doesn't drink coffee, ah, uh, might as well you go jogging, lah. <laughs> so bad. No, lah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Coffee time. Okay. If you are a cyclist and you cycle a lot around the common area, right, you will be very familiar with it. Okay, the, the plan here is I'm gonna bring you around the around the okay I got distracted because I saw peanut butter and who if anybody who watched my vlog you know that I love peanut butter jam with banana. Joby! Okay, reason why I'm not wearing my mask, I have to apologize up front mainly because I did not bring my wireless mic with me. I only have a, 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 a boom stick on the camera, but I'm going to try to walk around. Hopefully, I don't spread anything, but I tested myself. I'm negative, so I'm cool. And I'm going to walk around and check out all the booth, mainly the cycling one. And what's up? Hi, <laughs> Hi, subscribers. <laughs> This is my booth, so we are actually yeah, yeah, yeah. so we are trying to do a cycling tour around Malaysia. So we actually have uh, Perli, Taiping, and Hat Yai De Saru. These four packages for you guys to choose, lah. <laughs> Here, see twenty. Oh, for bikes. Yeah, for bikes at the yeah, back. So cool. we can actually put twenty bicycles and twenty cyclists as well. Okay. Yep. So for those who wants to go on bike tour, yes. Ini lah orang dia. Okay, going for the next. <laughs> Okay, uh, what is a cycle expo uh, without bicycles? So, we have all this. Okay, I want to be very frank with you. Not all the exhibitors or all the people I know in the industry. So, those that I'm not too familiar, I'll just do a quick recording. I apologize up front. But I will just, because there's so many exhibitors here, I'm just going to show you uh, what other things are there. Lah, I think. But one thing cool about this exhibition is um, they actually have a lot of ride events as well. Lah, just And if you look at the video now, this was the event that I saw them doing the, the push bike. Lah. Which is quite cool. They actually closed the closed the whole hall for it, and also uh, they had some uh, gravel rides, this and that. It makes the whole ambiance of cycling quite fun. Uh. It makes the expo pretty fun. So I'm gonna check out more booth here. There's more booth here. And this is a newest Rikulau bike. It's a standard steel. This is a M3 standard steel. Oh, standard steel. Standard steel. The material is more advanced than titanium. Ooh. Powerful compared with titanium. Stiffer compared with titanium. How much? Frame itself is uh, 7,800. I see that it's a gravel style bike. This is a gravel bike. Oh, this awesome. is a gravel bike. <laughs> okay, let me do something. I'm 
name is Josh from Forest Track Cycle Center. Uh, this is the most simple lock that uh, like you're going for a road ride. Everything you don't want to have a heavy uh, lock. So this is a simplified but came with the strong uh, features of cable ties. And uh, inside you're having uh, strips of steel. There are so many bike shops I've never seen before and bike brands I've never seen before. So coming to this exhibition is quite interesting. Uh, you know, you get to see things that you seldom see from your local bike shops. <laughs> Yo, so charming! Wow. cool you have from lubes bearings uh, uh, gear group sets from non uh, what's, what's like a mainstream group sets and you have push bikes uh, spare parts quite a lot of interesting things huh ooh lifeline ID I'm a big supporter of lifeline ID because please do not go riding without any protection and this is actually a quite a pretty pretty basic protection that you should use when you go out cycling the only protection you need when you're out cycling. Right line ID, see? Please, this is the basic fundamental protection that you need when you go out cycling or when you go out doing things alone. Protection. <laughs> Hello, my name is Eugene from Lifeline ID. Lifeline ID is a bracelet that's got engraved information on it in case of an emergency and you can't speak for yourself. So if you go out cycling and something unfortunate happens to you, you've got friends around you, they can take the information, call your emergency contact and help you out. So there are different, different kinds. There's a bracelet kind, there's the kind that you can wear on your watch and many, many different colors. Uh, I kind of developed this to, to help people that are into cycling, if they cycle alone. I'm a cyclist myself and when I go out alone, you want to keep yourself safe in case of anything happens. So with this, you can get uh, medical attention to yourself faster when people can help. Hi. Hello. Okay, what do you all do? We yeah, are from Apple Physio. Apple Physio. Wait, are you on the branch now? Uh, okay, tell me more about your what yeah. you all do. We specialize in orthopedic spine and joint issue. And then uh, also for this event, we have a promotion for our vouchers. So you can come over, we have a free consultation. So to assess your issue, issue and also we provide some interview of treatments to uh, understand more about your issue, what are the solutions that we can provide to you also. Alright. Hello, I'm Liao from Rudy Project. Okay, so today here at the booth, we are actually representing Rudy Project. So Rudy Project is from Italy. They are all made in Italy, sunglasses for bike and also helmets. Okay, we have a full range of uh, sunglasses here. Like. So whereby most of our uh, eye glasses, you can do prescription insert. Like. Okay, uh, you can support uh, people who are short sighted like us. Okay. Ah, so some of the subscribers who have asked me, right? How do you have powered glasses for cycling? Uh, Rudy Project Ada? Uh, yes, it can be done, no problem. And also, if you really want to make custom made, also it can be done also. Okay. Hey bro. Hey bro. Uh, okay, this is about your bike, Aisha Alam. Apple Beach bike. So we sell a second-hand uh, bike from road bike, road bike frames, classic bike, uh, and also gravel bike. Uh, so we have a shop at uh, Shah Alam, Pansupuri Ustari. Brochure, brochure. Okay, come on. Please scan here at uh, Telegram. Okay, pause and scan. <laughs> awesome, bro. Okay, I'll take a Yeah, yeah. So you said like you from where? Yeah, this is from UK. Our friend bought it from uh, UK cyclist, uh, but uh, she never uh, rode this bike. <laughs> Just a collection. Oh, so, so no collectors, uh. Yeah, collectors item. So my friend bought it for him and come to Malaysia here. <laughs> Okay, obviously now we are going to a more crowded area which is probably one of the nicest uh, exhibitor here which is I believe is SLM Cycles who you, later I'll show you Santashi 
the famous Santashi and we're gonna go check out Trek. Track booth got copy, eh? Free copy, come, come, come. <laughs> Melvin. Huh? Melvin. Oh, yeah, Melvin. I'm your subscriber. Yeah. Oh, I love you, love, bro. I love my wife. Oh, I must tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coffee at track. From Sega Fredo. From Sega Fredo. Oh, you oh, need barang baik ni. You need someone who has track ni. Barang baik ni. Ah, BB. <laughs> Powered by Bond Cafe. And also some more. Powered by Bond Cafe. Banyak advertisement. Banyak ni semua. Okay, I'm gonna walk around track booth again and let's see what's what. And then as usual, when you see a when you see a subscriber, where's my subscriber already? Ah, I need to give him a sticker. Sticker ni. Yes. Ah, this sticker limited. Terbalik. Oh, ah, limited edition sticker. Yeah, thanks. Okay, take care, bro. Yep, this sticker that I'm giving out is out of love for the love of the community. The bike shop that I always go to, One Cycling Industry. Oh, abang ni kaso ni racun ni bang. Antau lah ya racun. Oh yo, bila you pakai ya. You need to take care of your work, Adidas will take care of you. So, what's up? There's a driver. 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 Bang, tell me, bang. When you wear your feet, do you feel comfortable? It's good. 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 Please introduce yourself. Uh, saya Danish. Saya bukan profesional. <laughs> Hi, saya Melvin, saya Wayang. Oh yo, Eugene from Lifeline ID, testing out his new bike, new bike day. No, no, no. Bye lah, fuck kaje. Go visit Central Cycle, which they have cars DMT. DMT shoe like quite trending now, ah. Come let's check it out. So there's all most of the bike shops visited already, but there's another one big here, which is uh, SA Sport lah. So let's check out SA Sport. So 
So that, that is pretty cool. So that is something that actually is good not only to have the good bike ride feel uh, but also apparently it's also good for the frame. You don't have too much uh, tension on the frame when you're doing the indoor trainer. It's good stuff. Five thousand ringgit. Yes. Yeah. Five thousand ringgit. Hey, cheaper than bicycle. What the hell? Good batteries. I bought the battery. wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one hundred twenty kilos. Ah, uh. one hundred twenty kilos. Ah, uh. someone big like me. Ah, uh, look at how the top goes. Oh. No pedals. Yeah. What's the regulation for e-bikes now in Malaysia? Actually, we follow the same regulations as uh, bicycles for now. Uh, and uh, wait, forget that. Introduce yourself first. My name is Shah. Yeah. I'm from Jurong Wheels, All right? right. Oh, and uh, we are basically selling electric scooters and e-bikes here at uh, My Cycle Expo today. And uh, yeah, talking about the regulations for e-bikes. Uh, for now, e-bikes are actually uh, using the same regulations as uh, bicycles. All right, so you follow the bicycle lane and uh, wear your full safety. Of course, safety becomes more important when you're riding e-bike because it's now motorized. Uh, it's no longer just uh, entirely pedal. Uh, but the speed-wise, technically, you can only go as, as fast as uh, these e-bikes will only go as fast as you can pedal as well. 45, 40, 45 km per hour, that's the speed that you're going to go on uh, motor-assisted. So, um, yeah, it's uh, perfectly legal. What's the mileage like this on this kind of bike? This one specifically, we can get about uh, 50 kilometers on just battery alone. Okay. So if you are pedaling with it, uh, you can, well technically it's unlimited. Uh, how far you can pedal is the question. Uh, but uh, on average, I think people will say safely, it's a good number, it's uh, about 90 kilometers. And top speed? Top speed, this one, okay, this was modified, you know, disclaimer, this was modified. That one, uh, by original, is about uh, 45 km per hour, top okay. speed. So this one specifically can go at about uh, 55, because it's modded. Yeah, so this is modified, so... And because it's, there's a pedal, so it's considered as a bicycle? Yes, yes. It's an e-bicycle, electric bicycle, pedal assisted. Awesome bro, so go check out their website. website. You can go to uh, jerungwheels.com, you can go to eForge eBikes, we got Facebook, we got Instagram, we got TikTok. Uh, you can just visit us, talk us all you want. You got any questions, you can just drop us some PM. We will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Awesome. <laughs> so this place sells jersey. Fun and stuff. Check out Velo Velo. I think Velo Velo is doing something with Yes, right? Oh, this is a pretty cool beep for ladies, okay? Where lady cyclists, when they put on the beep, what's the biggest problem for lady cyclists is when they put on the beep and they want to pee and poo, they have to remove everything. But for Velocio, they actually designed in a way that if you saw my vlog, my Miku Climb vlog, right? Where Mimi actually introduced the Velocio beep. So let's check it out. So this is the one. So, so how is it designed where you can just pull off? Is this because the rear part is flexible or what? Yes, uh, they on the... So unlike the rest of the beach, right, for ladies especially, this is actually the front mesh. Then at the back, right, there's actually a, a cross-body lock section with a pouch. Ah. Yeah, so the pouch is actually right. with one motion, they actually pull it down. Uh, yeah, while they're squatting down together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So, actually, not just a uh, Velocio, ASOS also recently launched something similar. Oh, so you also carry ASOS as well? Yeah, we have ASOS distributor also. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. so Velo Velo is a di distributor for ASOS and Velocio. Apparently, yeah. uh, ASOS also has the pull down beep, which is pretty cool. Latest, uh, it's called the GTV. So, GTV has something different. Uh, this is a bit more racier. They use Manek. So, you can see, you can actually unlock it. Then you change it. Oh, magnet. Uh, it's magnet, yeah. And the A-lock, this one actually, the core support is a little bit tighter. The fabric has a bit more compression, a little bit more racier. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you need to clip it back, it's, it's literally, you just need to make sure you find back the, the feel, uh, then you can just hook it. That is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's very cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, even though I'm not a female cyclist, I think this will help a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks bro! Right, thanks, thanks, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having the product around. Oh, 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 thanks, thanks. Okay, now to 
to check out whatever booth there is that I haven't checked out. I, I can tell you up front, I am tired. Woo. Hi everyone, uh, this is our website Big Now. Currently, we are doing a promotion. So we are, we are the bidding platform to, to let you all bid the bicycles. And also, we can put other thing, things like, for example, gadgets, properties, and also a uh, moto, and so on. So feel free to have a look at our website. So our platform, our scan, is that there? So you may take a look, maybe. Okay, now we're at the last booth, which is the Mercedes booth, which is by Cycle and Carriage. So they are one of the key sponsors here to, who have actually made the Maxpo happen, la, which is pretty cool. So check out the cars that I wish I could afford. <laughs> That is the end of the My Cycle Expo for me. Okay, I want to sum up the My Cycle Expo, my experience and how it is and everything. I already completed the entire loop without bonking. Not last, I think. Came really early. I came about 8, on the 8 in the morning. But basically, I think the My Cycle Expo is a good initiative by the organizer. And also, um, it's nice to see uh, the bike industry or the bike shops and the uh, distributors like OCI, uh, SLM and many others, uh, SA Sport and all actually participating and supporting this event because it's nice. It's the right thing to do for the cycling community. It's the right thing to do for the industry. Um, it's not perfect but it's a start for everything and I'm basically if you, I would sum it as like going to many bike shops in a one small area. It's, uh, it's pretty cool for me. So, um... <laughs> no, you must say, you can say. No, 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 finish, finish. <laughs> so, finish so, so Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so this is such a good initiative. Um, I think if you ask me humbly, personally, I think it is the right direction for the cycling community. It's the right direction for the industry. It's nice to see companies that's not even in the cycling community like Mercedes, Second Courage and even Joby Peanut Butter is coming in to spot this event. Um, it's just the right thing to do. So that sums up of my Cycle Expo for me personally. Uh, and if you watch this, I hopefully I can upload on a Saturday. If not, it'll be a Sunday. I'll see you guys soon and I hope you enjoy the simple tour of my Cycle Expo. You guys, um, hope to see more of you around the exhibition area and I'll pass around some stickers which is the love I'm giving out. And I'll see you real soon guys. Take care, God bless and be awesome you guys. Be awesome. Smiley girl cyclist. World famous. No. World strongest Michael. But this one is the most famous. This is this is Eddie and first time I put a signature on something. To Eddie be awesome. Meow! Thank bro, you the best. Okay, I also I want. I'm Nexus uh, and I subscribe to Melvin because Kabale! <laughs> so I subscribe. Okay, okay. <laughs> So I'm Nexus and uh, I subscribe to Melvin because he shares contents that are very useful for Malaysians. You want Malaysian routes, you want Malaysian hospitality, you want fun, you want excitement. Melvin Tan is the place to be. Share the love you guys, be awesome! Hey. Share, like, subscribe, comment. Ah, not recording. Ah. <laughs> okay. Been following uh, Melvin. Ah, YouTube. Yes, wonderful. Insta. Apparently I got friend one. Ah. <laughs> Every Monday, Look forward for a new video. Wow, then suddenly yeah. stickers. Yeah. Yes, I'm like that one. And I still remember the earlier, earlier story. Sticker come. Ah. <laughs> I think you lost about 30 kilo, right? I lost, I was 130, mm. now I'm 90, so 40. Oh. Ah, 40, yeah. Ah, ah. Then, give me a sticker. Yeah. Ah. Everybody gets sticker because it's fun. <laughs> okay, done. Recording that. Hello. I'm a subscriber to Melvin's channel. I love to watch Melvin's channel because it's very nice, very informative, and gives me more spirit to cycle. Ah. More semangat! Ah. Ah. <laughs>
Yes. Wah, wow, automatic handsome. Thank you. Thank Turn you. at the back. At the back. What a color. Ah, this is the famous one. CSBD Concept Speed. Then you're like S or you can also say yeah. 